Long Island Medium, the YouTube twins that both happen to pop out of the womb psychic, and the guys that guess your weight or age at carnivals for a prize. What do they all have in common? Incredible powers, clairvoyance, psychic abilities, just like me. Except today, I'm admitting that I am a fraud. But also, hey, welcome to my YouTube channel, which you can only subscribe to if you're a scam artist like me. But don't worry, for you today, we'll make an exception. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the journey to become a successful fiber psychic, the bump in the road that I think may have ended my career, and of course, how much money I've made. So our journey begins with the last video I posted on me being a fiber psychic, thinking no one would ever buy it, but someone did. I didn't think people would continue buying it. I thought it was a fluke, but no, turns out there's actually kind of a market for bad psychic readings. Now, before I continue my story, I would like to share one of my readings. So here we have Naomi. She came to me asking for clarity in her relationship. She wanted to know a couple questions, including how many kids her and her current partner would have. Now, the one thing you need to know about this reading is that the cards let me know that she was going to have nine kids. I know. Nine kids aside, she also wanted to know what her last days with Evan would look like. When people say they want to grow old together, she wanted to know about the old, old, old part. This is the highlight reel from her fiber reading. We'll start by uh, lighting my sacred tea lights of Ikea. While I tell you the disclaimer that I am not a professional psychic, I have not helped find any kids trapped in well. I see you guys in one of those old age communities, but one of those nice ones, you know, like uh, um, with some fancy old people. And uh, you and Evan have a weekly show where you perform magic for everybody. And then as per final, final days together, I see it being a scene where in a final daring act, Evan decides to saw Naomi in half. And unfortunately it goes pretty poorly, hence why Naomi turns into an angel that haunts Evan, just out of pure pettiness for that trick going wrong. And then eventually Evan in solidarity saws himself in half as well as a final act. And then you both haunt your pure army of grandchildren as um, a pair of sawed and halved ghosts. But I think a cool party trick you guys might have is swapping your bottom halves, so that's kind of fun. But things were going great. I was getting more orders than I ever thought I'd be getting, which I mean, I thought I was gonna get zero, so the bar was pretty low, but I was getting like roughly one or two orders a week. But there was one fateful day. A customer received her reading. She said she liked it. She was happy, but she had accidentally pressed review order asking me to change it instead of pressing finalize. Me thinking I'm funny thought, hey, why reattach the actual video? Let's attach something more fun. So I attached a video of a baby getting a slice of craft cheese right to the face. What I forgot to remember is that those videos get posted on your fiber page forever. There is, was, currently is still a video of a baby getting a craft single slapped to the face on my fiber page. I'll just show you what it looks like when you go to my fiber page. You see my title, some images of my cards, and then the thankfully now the second sample of work you get to look at is not one of my actual videos that I put my effort into. A baby gets smacked in the face with a piece of processed cheese. Beautiful. Turns out there's no option on Fiverr to take down one of those videos. I don't know who decided that once you have a sample work on your page that it's there forever, but it's there forever. I had to put a disclaimer in my info box to say, by the way, that customer got a real video, not just the baby cheese thing. This was the turning point before I noticed a very quick change in the amount of orders I was getting. It went from a couple a week to one a month. I think the higher ups at Fiverr either have something against babies or craft singles. Either way, I'm this close to boycotting Fiverr and just making my own psychic reading website, even though I have no idea how to do that. I'm gonna give you a little highlight reel of another reading before we get into my actual earnings. Hunda5 reached out to me and asked if he should be focusing on one thing in his life or many things. But I think where my most brilliant work came was when I was also telling him what he should do for riches, success, etc. I think that your million dollar idea is gonna be very high stakes spelling bees. Hear me out. Spelling bees exist, but kind of boring. I think what you're gonna do is you're gonna change the game. You're gonna make spelling bees that are actually actual live action versions of Hangman. That's the whole new perspective thing, is that you're changing the world's point of view on spelling bees from boring elementary school competitions to high stakes, high intensity competitions. So that's your million dollar idea. 
the nine of cups yeah this means contentment satisfaction and wish come true so i think that this is the deck just trying to tell me and you that um i've done an incredible job here today this this reading is completely accurate if you have any other business questions feel free to come back to me the only business that i won't provide you guidance on is uh psychic readings because that's my field stay in your lane i'll stay in mine i want to share one more reading one more one more i swear one just last one then we'll get to the money will it be wonderful wonderful will it be she purchased an order her request was for me to do whatever i felt like doing what i'm getting from from the tower card meaning new beginnings awakenings and then the world card meaning the world really does revolve around you is that it's time to cut off anyone in your life who doesn't completely idolize you you need no one in your life that will ever humble you and question any of the choices you make the sun card just kind of confirms that just complete positivity no bad vibes just complete good vibes super good vibes only from the tower card i'm also kind of getting a um a sense that you should also just have a height requirement for anyone coming into your life it's is sort of me answering your romantic relationships as well as friends and family so this tower card here is telling me that anyone under a certain height let's say six foot uh should be immediately cut out of your life friends family if you have any family members who are below six foot sorry mom bye so how much money have i made as a terrible psychic and i can't make this up is 116 dollars and 69 cents <laughs> That is over the course of 11 readings. The one issue is that I may or may not spend roughly an hour to two hours making these videos for $5 and then Fiverr takes a cut and makes it $4. I'm making very little money doing this, but it's a passion project. It's a passion project. If you want your future told by me, the link will be down below. Help me beat the Fiverr craft single child hating algorithm. I've also decided to start uploading weekly just psychic readings. So if you're interested in that, you can get the free version of what I provide on Fiverr for a more general audience here on my channel. Despite any disclaimer, these readings are 100% true and everything I said will come, will come happen, will happen. Beyblade, let it rip. Okay, bye.